Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is May 19, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. The Red Dragon demanding countries to pay up right now so the clock has hit midnight in certain parts of the world now guys i want to read this part really quick this is very important if you can please share the video so keeping schools open the lights on even food on the table is being threatened by debt payments from one trillion dollars belt and road program all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon will get you access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform also guys i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 so the red dragon is demanding certain countries to pay up pay up i don't think they going after the sleeping giant yet they're going after the poor countries and it just It's very sad, but uh, this country, they uh, ask for loans and now the Red Dragon saying time is up, pay up, pay up. I'll tell you what, guys, we have money to build hypersonic stuff. We have money for war. We have money uh, to throw away in, in a trash, um, but we don't have money to feed. Mm. put your faith and trust in jesus christ so keeping schools open the lights on and even food on the table is being threatened by debt payments from the one trillion dollar belt and road program now i'm not going to read the whole thing this is a very long article but i'm gonna leave the link in the comments box if you guys want to check it out so a dozen poor lands unbelievable you know how much a sleeping giant owe the red dragon? Let me show you. Let me show you really quick. I don't know why the red dragon doesn't go after the sleeping giant. Here we go. top foreign holders of sleeping giant debt so the number one is sleeping giants of course this is a uh, one question here that people always ask uh you have uh let me get out the way japan and the red dragon have been the largest foreign holders of the sleeping giant debt for the last two decades japan and the red dragon uh, held almost 50% of all foreign owned sleeping giant debts between 2004 and 2006. However, this has declined over time. And as of 2022, they control approximately 25% of foreign owned debt. Now you got to ask yourself, how in the world the sleeping giant get in debt? $32 trillion. How? Bunch of Looney Tunes in the spotlight. My goodness. Ay, ay, ay. So it says here, behind the scenes in the Red Dragon, reluctance to forgive debt and its extreme uh, secrecy about how much money it had loaned and on what terms, which has kept other major lenders from stepping in to help. On top of that is the recent discovery that borrowers uh, have been required to put cash in hidden escrow accounts that push the Red Dragon to the front of the line of creditors to be paid. Countries and AP's analysts had as much as 50% of their foreign loans 
from the Red Dragon, and most were devoting more than a third of Gov revenue uh, to paying off uh, foreign debt. Two of them, Zambia and Sri Lanka. You guys already know what happened in Sri Lanka. Massive collapse. There wasn't no, uh, again, uh, gas shortage and food and stuff like that. And uh, Peru followed after that. Zum uh, Zambia and Sri Lanka have already gone into default, unable to make even interest payments on loans uh, financing the construction of ports, mines, and power plants. <sighs> wow. In Pakistan, millions of textile workers have been laid off because the country has too much foreign debt and can't, give me a second here, guys, and can't afford to keep the electricity on and machines running. This is going to hit hard. Now, the sleeping giant, we good for now. We good for now. But uh, you see the uh, domino effect, right? You see the domino effect. Even uh, lights can be turned on for a long period of time. They have to turn off lights. So it will happen here too, sleeping giant. Mark my words, it will happen here too. We owe so much money. In Kenya, the gov has held back uh, paychecks to thousands of civil service workers to save cash to pay foreign loans. The leader chief economic advisor tweeted last month, salaries or default, take your pick. Since Sri Lanka defaulted a year ago, a half a million industrial job, gone, gone. Inflation has pierced 50%, and more than half of the population in many parts of the country has fallen into poverty. Experts predict that unless the Red Dragon begins to soften its stance on its loans to poor lands, there could be a wave of more defaults and political upheaval. Yeah, well, it's looking ugly. It's looking really ugly. Default is also here in the Sleeping Giant, which is going to be my next video, guys, um, over at the Rise of Warrior. In a lot of world, the clock has hit midnight. And once again, uh, the Red Dragon has moved in and left this geopolitical instability that could have long lasting effects. So how it's playing out. A case study of how it has played out is in Zambia, um, a, lock, a landlocked country of 20 million people in the Southern Africa that over the past two decades has borrowed billions of dollars from the Red Dragon state-owned banks to build dams, railways, and roads. The loans boosted Zambia economy, but also raised foreign interest payments so high there were little left for the gov, forcing it to cut spending on health care, social services, and subs, uh, subs, uh, subslides, subsidies, uh, subsidies uh, to farmers for seed and fertilizer. Mm -mm -mm. In the past, under such uh, circumstances, big gov lenders, such as the sleeping giant Japan and France, would work out deals to forgive some debt uh, with each lender disclosing clearly what uh, they were on and on what terms so no one would feel cheating. Uh, but the Red Dragon didn't play by those rules. It refused at first to even join in multi-international talks, negotiating separately with Zambia and insisting on Confident, uh, confidentially uh, that bear the country from telling non-Red Dragon lenders the terms of the loans and whether the Red Dragon had devised a way of muscling to the front of the repayment line. So the Red Dragon, in another word, they don't have heart. Pay, 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 money. Give me money, give me money. It's like that movie, uh, Don't Be a Menace. I watched that movie when I was young. 
I still remember. Give me money, pay, pay. So uh, again, they just want their money. Business is business to them. Business is business, so pay up. But you have other countries that are saying, hey, debt forgiveness. The Red Dragon's like, no, give me money. When you work with the Red Dragon, again, uh, their mind is business is business. You made that deal. So amid this confusion in 2020, a group of non-Red Dragon lenders refused desperate pleas from Zambia uh, to suspend interest payments even for a few months. That refusal added to the drain on Zambia foreign cash uh, reserves and the stash of mostly sleeping giant dollar. Give me a second here, guys. I paused this video so many times. It just, I don't know. I don't want to get hit by a copyright, but I tried to pause this video and keep playing. Um, all right, stash of mostly sleeping giant dollars that is used to pay interest on loans and to buy major commodities like oil. By November 2020, with little of reserves left, Zambia stopped paying the interest and defaulted, locking it out of future borrowing and set off a vicious cycle of spending cuts and deepening poverty. Bad credit, bad credit. But guys, uh, the entire system is going to snap. I mean, Sri Lanka was a huge warning. And like I said, it's a domino effect. It's happening in Peru. It's happening in other regions. It will uh, happen to uh, worldwide. All right, so inflation in Zambia has since soared. 50% of unemployment has hit a 17 year high, and the nation currency, the Wanchong, has lost 30% of its value in just seven months. And a UN estimates of Zambians and not getting enough food, not getting enough food has nearly tripled so far this year to 3.5 million. I just sit in the house thinking what I will eat because I have no money to buy food. One person said a blind 70 years old widow. Oh man, that's sad. 70 year old widow. I mean, just imagine, they're not getting social security out there. This is a 70 year old. Mm. But we have money for war. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, all right. So 70 year old widow uh, in Zambia's uh, province whose welfare payments were recently slashed. Are you listening? This is because of a uh, default inflation. Same thing is happening to the sleeping giants. I made videos. So you guys got to watch the videos. I'm telling you, I'm giving warnings of things to come. I posted a video uh, last night. You know, Mr. Byrne canceled his trip. Emergency meetings. These are because of, uh, give me a second here, because of social security. Social security payments could be stalled. Collapse worldwide. This is my latest one. You got to check this video out again. Uh, look at world's elite gather for secret meeting. So the, uh, again, guys, make sure you follow me on this channel. The link will be in the comments box. But uh, experts are warning. You have Jeanette, the tre uh, Treasury Secretary, uh, Jeanette Yellens. She's sounding the alarm. She's saying, hey, uh, social security payments is going, you know, it's not going to be sent out. Food stamps, SNAP, whatever, if we don't fix this issue. You know what Mr. Burns said? I can't stay here. I got to go to Japan. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Speaker, Mr. Kevin, it's like, uh, you got to stay here. We got to fix this. Can't be running away. You do this all the time. You run away. You don't go to the southern area. You don't go to Ohio. You don't want to go nowhere. But I have to go. So took a plane to Japan. So you guys get the picture here. Food being impacted. People can pay, um, pay bills. I mean, it just, it, this is the tip of it. Pretty soon, 
the red dragon is gonna call the sleeping giant hey pay up give me money i just sit in a house thinking that i would eat what i would eat because i have no money to buy food said this person 70 year old whose welfare payments were recently slashed Sometimes I eat once a day, and if no one remembers to help me with food from the neighborhood, then I just starve. <sighs> Guys, Jesus said for us to help each other. For us to help each other. If you know anybody that is going through struggle, someone asks for a loan, hey, you know, I need a loan, uh, or can you please do shopping? Do it. If you have the money, do it. Well, Lewis, I don't like that person. Do it! Do it. Do it in private, though. Your reward in heaven is going to be amazing. God will see all the good things you've done and he will reward you in heaven it's going to be much more valuable than gold than anything help if you have grudge against someone if you hate someone you better fix that you better fix that because uh, jesus didn't have hate on no one jesus said to uh pray for your enemies so if you know anybody struggling help them talk to them feed them talk to them you know just Keep them company. Because one day, you will also be an issue. So it says a few months after Zambia defaulted, researchers found that oh, that old uh that it owes six point six billion dollars to the Red Dragon. State-owned uh, banks doubled uh what many thought at the time in about a third of the country's total debt. We're flying blind, this person said. And I'm going to skip all the information. Oh, there's a lot of stuff we missed. And actually, things are much, much worse. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the rest. It's a very long article. Let me just show you. Look at this. Extremely long. Very long. Very long. Very long. And it keeps going and going but it's very important stuff you guys need to know it but uh again the red dragon is saying it's midnight let's go pay up it was gonna be like the red dragon's wrong well the red dragon is the one that lend them money it, uh they expect the money to be paid back that was the agreement debt forgiveness like i said i don't think the red dragon is down with that but uh something got to be done now, I believe a lot of this is because of the, you know, the sanction that was put on the bear. The sleeping giant NATO has slammed all that stuff on the bear, which caused not the sleeping giant, but the entire world, everything to go up. Food, gas, you name it. Mr. Byrne is like, we have to do it. We have to do it for the yellow and blue country. We have to. Uh, no, we don't. All right, and nobody want to pay extra money just to help the yellow and blue country. That's their problem. Let them figure it out. When we were in problems up with uh, other lands, and anybody came to help us, did they lift eggs prices and gas prices for us? <laughs> All right. So again, guys, a lot of stuff in this article is very important. Like I said, the link will be in the comments box. But uh, yeah, it's a domino effect. They are basically demanding poor lands pay up many of them are struggling right now they need prayer they also need help now i don't know if this uh you know one of those organizations stuff like that to help them um and it, it, i mean guys i always have problem when it comes to sending money especially there because that money even though it goes to that organization guess what the red dragon has control of those uh, of those things and a lot of this money could go into the pocket of the Red Dragon. Now, uh, I'm going to do my research and see, but uh, it's very important 
to help lands i know they have like one of those monthly things that you can help india when it comes to clean water with just ten dollars a month ten dollars a month there is considered like almost what 50 bucks or south america ten dollar is considered like almost yeah like 50 bucks so it truly helps out when you give a hand and uh, like i said when you do that you know you are storing up your treasure in heaven and make sure you do it private and private because god will reveal it um when that day comes all right guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give your life to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.